Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Tuesday, August 3rd, 2021. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. But first, I do want to invite you to join me later on today at 4 p.m. Central for our monthly market outlook. So we'll be doing our monthly market outlook later on this afternoon. It is free to join for anyone. And we will be discussing August seasonality, industry group rotation, and stocks to watch for the next month and beyond. So please use the Zoom link that is in the description below to join. All right, let's take a look here at the ES. You'll notice here we continue to see development within the range. This range has now developed over the last seven to eight days, developing eight day, but has finished seven days of range action here. The previous session, we did see a failed high right here and close below the midpoint, but we're still in range. The idea here is that if this is going to lead to more weakness, then any pullback to between this black dot and that yellow dot here, basically 95 to 98, 95 to 4400, somewhere in that zone, would provide an opportunity for bears to defend and seek downward expansion here, at least initially. So we could be looking at a breakout pretty soon here. But we are still certainly inside the range, and until we get outside that range, it could continue to remain range bound for quite a while. So right now, bears looking to defend the 4400 zone for a push downward. Even if we were to break down, it could be a hard couple of days down, followed by a strong reversal back to new highs, very similar to what we've seen any one of these rotations here recently. So even if we were to get some sort of big move down, 44. Uh, 4,300, 44 uh, to 4,400 could be an easy move here. So it comes back down and then back up to the FOMC key level and likely through it for new highs. So again, watching for some sort of action here out of this range. If we take a look at the NQ, very similar price action. You see right here a, a very narrow range overall that has developed over the last uh, seven, eight days. Last day here, uh, we're seeing prices above 15K go off for the last several days. So price dropped here. Prices here showing a tail, a tail, and a tail yesterday. Failed new high yesterday as well. Not quite as strong as the rejection seen in the ES or especially in the YM and RTY. Those two developed bearish outside reversals. Uh, but for the most part, this one's still kind of hanging in there and could still as we say it hit a new high very quickly if we were to see a little bit more of a pullback uh, even 14.4 would be a pretty tremendous zone down here below the previous month's low into the LVN that could be a tremendous snapback if we were to get that low so we'll see how far we go if anywhere out of this range if we take a look at crude oil this one's had a hard couple of days down yesterday dropping pretty significantly today uh, seeing additional weakness here down nearly 3% here, 2.69% here yesterday. Hard drive down, stop run day down, and now back below 70. That's pretty significant right now. As we talked about before, if this one could have held 70, uh, the idea was that we were likely headed back to 75.52. We got very close and just couldn't do it yesterday. And now, this is a pretty significant break through those lows. Uh, doesn't appear as though a failed new low is likely to develop, at least not at this moment. Uh, typically, you have a big day down like this, and you look for a failed low and bounce. Or a big day down, failed new low, bounce. This one dropped through that previous low and continues to see weakness on lows at the moment. Uh, it could continue to remain a bearish type of day here unless price can form some sort of significant rejection so right now crude oil is showing quite a bit of weakness as it cannot stay above 74s so how far do we drop perhaps back towards 68 maybe even as low as the 65 uh, key range low we'll see all right taking a look here at gold futures let's pop that up gold here you can see has continued to push higher uh, in, in a quiet fashion here it was able to uh, reclaim the 1790 levels here able to sit on those levels but as we talked about before even if it held 1790 very good likelihood of staying 
below the 1835s to continue to trade in that range. So we've seen it pop, uh, bounce. We've seen it ricochet back to the center of that group. And we're just kind of range bound in that group right now, or in that range. So from that zone right here, 1790, again, holding that zone, we could see it slingshot through 1840 at some point, but further range action could be seen before that happens. And once it does, again, 1863 is still above, and we may even need to see a bit more upside uh, from there. So again, right now this market remains bullish uh, in the near term here, but just staying inside the range above 1840 opens up the upside. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'm looking forward to seeing you later on this afternoon for the Pivot Boss Monthly Market Outlook at 4 p.m. Remember, use the Zoom link below to join. Take care, and I'll see you soon.